Hey guys, y'all know what time it is. Where is it? Chapstick. I did my base face and I already have one eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna do another look with the Itendu Mink Set palette today. And I'm using again um, the Isom Vegan Brush set that I purchased. I'm gonna go in first with this non-shade, this one right here, and use that as my transition color. All the products I used in my video yesterday are the same ones that I'm, I use today already so far. Face face is completely the same. The only difference in the brushes I used, I used um, the blush brush for my contour and around the perimeter of my face. Everything else I, I used was the same. And all the products were the same. I really like this color. And I'm going to take this high up because I have all this real estate up here. Actually, I'm going to take it all the way up to the brow bone. Cover up all of that uh, primer up there. I'm not going to list the base face stuff in the description box like I did the video that I uploaded last night. It's all the same. And I will put um, that video as an end cap or end screen or whatever it's called for this video. And I do apologize that that went out so late and the cell ended last night at midnight depending on, well 11.59pm depending on what time zone you were in. But it uploaded here. Um, I think it was like 10, 15, 10, 20. It took like two hours to upload and I'm just like, oh my gosh. And so it was, uh, I wanted to get it out sooner. So if you guys did want to purchase something from the sale that you can get in on the sale, um, I'm on the East coast. And so I was thinking, okay, if somebody's in central time zone or Pacific time zone, they have more time to go on and purchase something. And so I still uploaded it or let it continue to upload even though it was taking forever. I'm gonna take this small brush and I'm gonna go in with this shade here as a brow bone highlight. Very lightly, like barely. I used the wrong shade, did I? Yeah, I think I used this first one yesterday. This time I'm using this shade. It does look different. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna wipe that off. More colorful than I thought that was going to be. I'll wipe this off and then I'm going to try to diffuse the shimmer. <laughs> and it's not working the way I want. So I'm going to take that first brush I had and take a little more of that <laughs> transition color and just sweep it over that brow bone color. All right, I'm going to take the smaller contour brush and go in same thing i did yesterday i'm, I'm gonna do something different i'm gonna take this shade in the corner this one i did not use yesterday and we're going to take that directly into the crease oh these are so smooth i don't know if it's the shades uh, or the brush or the primer or a combination of them all but i will say viseart Shadows are smooth and these brushes are soft. And so I think the combination of them all together is just like, oh, wow, this is so nice. Yeah. I did go online and purchase the three um, <laughs> eyeshadow brushes that I told you yesterday was in my cart on Muse Beauty Pro. I got a thin um, tapered eyeliner brush. And I purchased their small angled brush, which is for shading. And I got their medium angled brush. And for the three of them, it was $62. Free shipping over $50 order, I believe, which is great. And you can pay for expedited shipping and all of that, but I'm like, you know what, it's not that serious. And if I don't have to pay for shipping and still get the product, that is great. These items, I think it took like two weeks to get it, but I wasn't in a rush. 
and it came the day after Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas though. And I don't celebrate my birthday either, which was earlier this month. But, you know, it felt like a holiday. Actually, anytime I get a package of the bill, it's like a holiday. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, gifts, even though I paid for it for myself, right? Okay, I'm liking how that looks. I'm going to go back with that first brush and just do extra blending. One on that edge. Uh, I'm going to do something different than yesterday. I really like the look I did yesterday. So I'm going to use this big brush. <laughs> and I think... Uh, I didn't use this shade yesterday. So I'm going to take this one and put this all over the lid. But that might be too matchy-matchy with my shirt. That shade, when I swatched it, it really didn't have too much of a color. I think this one was like the pinky peach or something, but it, it's not really. Hmm, a color for me is very not there. Neutral. I don't even know if you can see the difference. I don't know why my lighting is still looking weird. I put my seating back where it's been. And maybe because it's gloomy outside. Because my balcony is way over there. I turned off the light behind me because it was casting a shadow. And I, so I do think it is because it's not sunny outside. And then I brought a lamp that I have sitting here that I didn't plug in. And I said, let me turn off the light behind me just to see if that makes a difference. And it did make a little bit of a difference. But to me, it's just looking kind of hazy. Um, so I, I need to figure that out. I'm not going to get like the light boxes and all of that stuff because I just don't have space for it and it would just be just in the way. I need to put something over top of this because I'm not really seeing anything. Um, or I could just leave it like this and be a real simple basic look. But I don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to wipe that brush off and... <laughs> What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this shade, because I remember how this shade intensified this one yesterday. So I'm going to take this again and see what that does on my lid. Uh, not much. <laughs> Real simple, everyday look. And this is a basic palette. And uh, I do really like it, though. I do. This is a palette where you can't really go wrong with this palette, depending on where you put these darker shades. But like the shimmer shades, you can't go wrong. See that? So it still kind of looks the same. <laughs> but it's pretty. Neutral, pretty. If you're a neutral lover, warm tone lover, such as myself, this right here is looking funky to me in this corner. And I don't know why. Hmm. I really don't. I want to do something else, but I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm going to take... Did I use... Where's the other brush? I'm tripping. I'm going to take this smaller brush, and I am going to go in with this purple... And I'm going to use that in my outer corner again. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do that because I want to. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to put that, yeah, the outer, uh, the outer third of my lid just to get some more definition in here. Not necessarily an outer V, but I guess on the last third of my lid and into the crease. I like this brush. Actually, I like all these brushes. <laughs> so this again is just to give you ideas. I looked again online last night for this palette on YouTube and there's only like three or four videos and one person did a look um, and other people were just showing it, showing swatches and then showing comparisons of the palettes that these shades came from but i'm not seeing a lot about this palette maybe just because it is a basic palette 
and so many palettes came out this year, and it's the end of the year, so I think maybe people are just not wanting to get it. I did see more videos for the Violet, if I'm pronouncing it right, the purple one. And maybe because it's more colorful, but that's too cool tone for me. I don't think I particularly look good in cool tone shadows. But that one I've seen, but not this one. I'm going to take this small, this small brush, and I'm going to, sorry for the glare on these, on the handles. And I'm going to blend that out very lightly. I kind of want to take this like all the way over in the crease. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm going to leave that right there and keep the first half of my lid very neutral. I like my eyeshadow to just be like, bam, do you see me? And so that's why I'm struggling with this look because I'm going to take some more shadow, that purple shadow on this brush, and just sweep that inward. And so that's why I'm struggling with how neutral the first half of my lid looks because I like my eyeshadow to be noticeable. And I'm going lightly between the two colors just to further blend them together. If you have look, if you've done looks with this palette and you've done videos, you know, send me the links or post them below and I'll watch your videos. Cause I'm just curious to see what other people are doing with this palette. I don't know when I started blending so much. <laughs> Usually I don't. I feel like I'm just blending. Maybe because this brush is just so soft. I just don't want to stop. But I'm going to stop. I don't even know if this is showing up on your side of the screen. Lower lash line, I'm going to take this brown with this small pencil brush. I, I can't see the number, I have my contacts in, so I can't read. Because my contacts help me see far. I already have primer under here, which you may or may not have noticed. And I realize I just got real quiet. I'm actually going out today. I need to... Um, send something back to somewhere because they sent me the wrong item and I also need to go to motor vehicle and hopefully they'll be able to do what I need done and so that's what I'm going today and I'm debating on whether or not I want to get Chinese food for I guess late lunch because it's 1230 I just ate breakfast at like 1030 That first brush I used, I probably need to get more of these. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to take the one I used my brow bone highlight, and I'm just going to blend this a little bit. I think I might need more of this brush because I keep picking it up to use it and keep wiping it off to use it for different colors. And I do have a tendency, if I really like a brush, I do get an extra one because I use them. I have a brush collection video coming up and some of my brushes I have like two or three of them because I really like them. Because then you don't have to keep wiping them off in between shadows. You can just pick up the other one that's just like it. Okay, that looks better. Um, In a corner highlight, I'm going to use that same brush. I'm going to wipe it off. <laughs> and I'm going to take this shade right here. <laughs> For my inner corner highlight, very lightly. Did I pick up the right one? The second shade? Sorry if I shook. Hopefully when I go outside, my eyes won't tear because I'm not sure what the temperature is. Yesterday it was like 39 degrees. And so that is it for the eyes. Um... Do I want to do, you know, I am going to do liner. Do I want to do liquid liner? No, I don't. I do, but I don't. I do because I can get a crisp line, but I don't because it's easier to wash off powder. <laughs> so I'm going to take this purple. <laughs> no, you know what? I am going to do a black liner. Because the purple I put in my outer corner. You know what? I'm gonna, no, I'm going to take this brown, this dark brown on this brush and use this for liner. And 
it's not really showing up using the thin edge of the brush which is why yesterday I ended up just turning it flat but then the line was wider than I wanted it to be but the color does show up though Ooh, I poked myself with my contact I got eyeshadow with my contact lens do not start tearing eye because then you will ruin everything If this brush is, I ended up just turning it sideways by mistake. I don't know what it is with this brush. Maybe it's better for pigment, loose pigment, because I'm having trouble getting this color to lay, to show up. I can see it though, but it's like kind of like barely there. Maybe it's because I have all these other shades on my lid. I don't know. Or maybe my vision is just funky right now. Oh, I hit myself in the eye again. Ooh, now my brush is wet. <laughs> okay. This side I'm not liking. It's like something in this area right here is looking weird. Do people really even notice? Like if somebody's not really up in your face, they're not going to notice if your eyeliner is not even. Unless it's like a bright bold color. But for these colors, I don't think anyone would notice. So I'm going to do mascara. Thank you for being here. This video is longer than I thought it was going to be. I feel like I'm in slow motion. I don't know why. You know, I do know why. Because I'm not in a good mood. Something happened yesterday, last night, and it stuck with me. And I need to just get over it. That's what it is. And then having to go out to social security to mail something back to them that wasn't something i was anticipating needing to do because the error was on their part and so i really thought you know if i called it called in and they would look up my information they would just send out the correct document to me but no i gotta mail something back so i'm like okay but it's good because I need to get out. I need to get fresh air. I need to get some sun. It's not really sunny out though, but. And I may get Chinese food out. Chinese food while I'm out. I'm not sure yet. I'm not going to do anything on my waterline. My waterline was really itchy yesterday. From that eyeliner. From the eyeliner that I use. I'm not going to. Do I want to do anything on my lips? I kind of do, but I kind of don't because that mask is only going to just make it smear so i'm trying to see what i have open i haven't opened any of my new stunners because if i'm not going to wear them on a regular basis then why open them because then they're just going to expire before i get to use it up because i'm not wearing makeup so i'm going to take hmm, this stunner this color i forget which one it is and we're just going to put this on the lips because this does dry down into a stain. And so it may not come off in my mask. I did do something different after my base face. I did spray my face with setting spray. Because I was anticipating... Why did I talk and I messed that up? Anticipating putting the mask on. Ah. If you don't fix this right away, <laughs> there's no fixing it. You guys can't even see, I apologize. Yep, it's crooked, but that's because my lips are crooked. So that's what we're working with, crooked lips. And I'm going to take the other shade, because this was the little set that they came out with. So I'm going to take this one and just put this on my outer corners. Is that the way I liked it before? I don't really remember. Yeah, I think this is. 
Mm-hmm. This is it. This smells funny. <sighs> and these are new. Who's going to see my lips with a mask on? Like, why am I really even doing this? I'm tripping. You guys see it. That's who. I'm doing this for you. For you to see a complete look. Crooked lips and all. There is no fixing it. It's dry. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh. This. These stunners. A little bit came off. I would need to take conceal and do it, but I'm not. Thank you for watching. Post your looks below with this palette if you have it. Let me know how you're liking it. And you will see me again in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.